We are present today to celebrate two aspects of Anna and Bryce's relationship. The first is God's goodness. Psalm 37 4 is a powerful verse highlighting God's goodness to his children. It reads, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Anna, Bryce, as we delight in God, as we find our pleasure and purpose in loving, following, and obeying Him, God is good and faithful to provide us with His desires for our life. In other words, as we love, follow, and obey the Lord, He makes His desires our desires. And God's desires for our life are always best. In addition to all of your obvious positive qualities, I knew that your sports knowledge and passion for both real and fantasy sports would result in hot pursuit from the men. Congrats on a great selection in a husband. And I know that your mother, Mary Beth, and father, Rob, are very proud of you. Bryce, I do not have the history with you that I have with Anna. However, in the time that I've spent with you and hearing the way that your friends and closest family describe you, it's easy for me to see how you and Anna have made it to this day. In asking Anna why she desires to spend the rest of her life with you, she quickly mentioned your personal pursuit of Christ and how you push her to grow in her faith and to keep Christ as the center of your relationship. Bryce have both delighted themselves in our Lord Jesus. I and we here acknowledge and respect your walks with the Lord, the faithful investment of your daily lives in his kingdom, and the desire he has placed in your lives and relationship for Christian ministry. God's goodness is a trademark that defines your relationship as he has initiated and preserved your relationship for this day. Bryce. Hi Bryce. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Anna. Take you, Anna. As my wife. As my wife. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in difficult times. In good times and difficult times. I promise to be a true and faithful husband. I promise to be a true and faithful husband. To be your husband and your husband alone to be your husband and your husband alone. As long as I shall live. As long as I shall live. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Son. Son. And Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Bryce. Take you, Bryce. As my husband. As my husband. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in difficult times. In good times and in difficult times. I promise to be a true and faithful wife. I promise to be a true and faithful wife. To be your wife and your wife alone. To be your wife and your wife alone. As long as I shall live. As long as I shall. Live. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Son. Son. And Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit. Now by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in the presence of God and your family and friends, I pronounce you husband and wife, no longer two, but one, one in calling, in ministry, in love, and in life. Bryce, you may kiss your bride. Friends and family, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bryce Hagler Bishop. Woo! Hey! Woo!